with Emily Lauterbach here after a 71 on day three of LPGA Tour, Epson Tour Q School. Should be good enough to get to Thursday. Um, you had, uh, your dad told me you had a slow start, caught, you know, made it okay uh, by the turn and then kind of grinded out a 71. How do you describe the way the day went and how relieved are you to maybe have all this initial part behind you? feel relieved. It's so hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, slow start. I bogeyed, I don't know, early on. And then I got three birdies on my last few holes on the back nine, mm -hmm. or on the front nine, front sorry. Nine. And so I turned at two under and then I think I hit three greens. In all three of those greens, I gave myself, I think, seven feet, 10 feet, and 12 feet for birdie. Yeah. Missed them all. Wow. Um, and then all the other ones, I made really good up and downs from places I shouldn't have been. Mm -hmm. um, like the first up and down, I had to like flop it 40 yards over a bunker wow. to a short sided pin. And then I had a long bunker shot in the next hole. And then it was just- Do you remember where those were? Uh, was that two, three or, or was it so further in 10, the- So 10, you, you saw me miss the short yep. birdie putt. Yep. And then 11, I had 40 yards over a bunker okay. for par on a par five Wow. that I can reach into. So yeah. that was nice. Um, and then the next hole was the, no, I had to, I couldn't go at the green, so I had to lay up and then I made a long putt for par. Sure. And then the next hole, I had a long bunker shot. And then wow. the par three, 14, yeah. maybe, I had, I think eight feet for birdie, seven mm -hmm. feet maybe. Sure. Um, and then I bogeyed the hole after that because I shouldn't have been where I was. <laughs> <laughs> so a common theme, yeah. it just kind of, the, you know, again, it's three straight days and 118 degree weather and, and um, you do what you can to try to hold it together. How, do, sure. you, how do you, how, have you found a way to do that? Uh, um, any, any tricks to that trade? No. No. Doesn't feel like I'm golfing a lot because they're at least nice enough to give us carts because I don't think walking four <laughs> days in 120 degrees is yeah uh, even possible. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> With how hot it is here, um, but I sit down in the car and I put my head down and then I wait to the next shot. <laughs> Let my dad drive me there. That's nice. That's nice. Um, did you, you know, because you were, you know, the one person from the state inside the number comfortably, did you have a different strategy, perhaps, you know? then you might otherwise, if you had been, you know, in say Bobby's position, having to go low, did you do anything different today? Um, I mean, I didn't feel that comfortable. Okay. I wasn't too pleased with my first bogey. I think I missed a two foot putt. Okay. If even two feet, <laughs> it was a tap in and it, it was, should have gone in, but yeah, it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then kind of let that motivate me. Mm -hmm. I birdied that next hole mm -hmm. and then one after that, I think three in a row. Okay. Then. So I birdied the next three holes in a wow. row um, because I wasn't too happy, which helped a lot. And sure. then moved on to the back and then, yeah, had that struggle. Yeah. But um, all's well, it ends well. Now you can focus on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, how much is that? mean to you and uh, you know half the battle is you know maybe mentally is just getting to you know through these different hurdles that you cleared a year ago right mm -hmm, for sure what does it mean to get to tomorrow um a lot it feels good because i mean missing cuts is very sad i learned this summer mm -hmm. <laughs> um but i'm excited to play tomorrow hopefully some of the other girls are playing tomorrow um I know Bobby's right on the line, but yeah. I'm hopeful it'll move. So yeah, the whole afternoon wave still has to come in, and then yeah, it feels good. Uh, little stress relief, but still gonna try to do my best tomorrow. You, I think looking back on the first three days, what you did the first day gave you a little comfort on a day like today, and that was something Bobby didn't have, mm -hmm. and she compounded it with you know some struggles on her final nine, forcing her to make a birdie on the last hole to even get to three. So, you know, but with both of you, this is all, I mean, last year and in previous years, you know, maybe you didn't quite, 
you know, the, the level of importance of each round wasn't what it was now that you've been through this for a full year. Yeah. Is that what you kind of have, you know, do you feel that out there? And, oh, for and, sure. Yeah. I uh, told you how I was talking to like other girls because last year I had no pressure. Mm -hmm. And I came out here and played pretty well, seven under, I'd say good out here yeah. in the seat. And I didn't have that pressure. Mm -hmm. And then this year coming in, I was trying to like balance it because I'm like now I have that pressure of like mm -hmm. now I know and I want to make that cut but I also right. should feel comfortable here because I did it last year mm -hmm. so I can I feel both out on the golf course at times yeah um like that stress of wanting to do well but also on some holes I'm like okay well I know the line here like I don't even need to look at my book it feels like mm -hmm. you know I've been here done that so the carrot of getting the second stage this year though because we talked about it last year a lot of stuff happened between first and second stage including the start of school and and now you don't have that i mean wouldn't it be yeah, cool and to i'm get not to... going to mexico before stage two so <laughs> <laughs> hopefully i'm not having 104 fever right <laughs> right up to the week exactly so i mean there's a lot of you know a lot of promise and potential ahead of you and that must be very exciting it is yes for sure and so do you try to set that aside tomorrow? How do you handle tomorrow in terms of the going about your business part of tomorrow? You know, I'm going to try to be more consistent mm -hmm. tomorrow instead of just having three good holes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably going to hit the range for a little and then try to take it the same probably as today, especially sure. since I'm playing the same course that I played today. Mm -hmm. So similar prep and I'm really hoping for a morning tea time. Yes. I have no idea good? how the tea times are laid out No. There. No, but we'll see. Hopefully. We're all hoping for morning tea times. Yeah, we are. <laughs> all the caddies are hoping for morning tea times. <laughs> Emily, thank you very much. Thank you.